I was really afraid when I started to do this work that it, I was going to alienate my audience and people that were following my work. There's so much more complexity to what there is that you see on the surface, and that's who you are. In a way, they're kind of like portraits, you know, but there's no figure involved, but it's a complicated image, you know. There's a lot going on here that you don't realize. There's a lot of depth in, inside this, beyond this flat surface of who you think you are. But to me, they're a sort of symbol of the simple complexity that exists when you look at anything. You know, anything you look at, there's much more going on. This pretty picture that I've been producing for my whole artistic career of landscapes and figurative work, it just doesn't work anymore. I mean, literally for me, it wasn't working anymore. It was just an experience that I felt like I had done. I think subconsciously I wanted to do something that just represented that image of what something was, you know? It was just a visually complex image. And so the constructs did that, you know, for me, I realized that there, there was this way of communicating Right. Yeah, this is the one that you liked. I added some red stripes, but the other the other side is really just complements it so well now. It's beautiful. It's almost like it's just, you know, changing as you're moving past it, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks great. I love it. Yeah. I thought when I first started this, I thought it's going to be a struggle and it's going to be tough all the way and you could, you know, find yourself starving and that, that might still happen but what I've experienced actually is the more courage that I have to release all these sort of tethers and move freely and create and experience who I am and put myself out there, the response has been amazing. It's been supportive. It's been encouraging. It's like I it just kind of surrounds me and lifts me up and says, that was really good. We challenge you to go even higher, you know? And that's not necessarily people. It's the sense of the universe just coming around and just saying, good, you're doing the right thing. It's been an amazing thing. I love that about my life. I noticed was just like right when I walked in the door I saw a lot of texture in the pieces and I had to walk up close to see if they were real texture or just through the painting itself um, so I was pretty impressed by that um, there's a lot of light in his pieces um, and I really 
am kind of drawn to that and the, and the colors that are used and the movement in the pieces. I think that's, that's what I've been drawn to the most. I've always been a fan of Roy James, and uh, I really like what he's doing right now and the direction he's going. And I love color, and he is an incredible, incredible manipulator of color. And I particularly like these pieces because they're three-dimensional, and they're incredible in the way you walk around them and how the color changes. It even cha it changes horizontally and it changes vertically. I've been a fan of Roy's work for years and I've really enjoyed seeing the progression of his work over the years from the very classical Renaissance, very detailed paintings and the evolution now into one of my favorites here behind me with this quiet, serene feel and now with his constructs, so the three-dimensional art. So I just really admire his work. I'm a big supporter, and we in incorporate his work into a lot of our projects as well. I call them illuminated manuscripts because it's a play on the word illumination. Uh, two things, uh, the medieval sort of and gothic idea of illuminated manuscripts, these sort of uh, beautifully artistically created books, um, typically spiritual, you know, um, and so, and then illumination, the idea of something that's, that's uh, uh, in, in sort of enlightening you in sort of way. The idea was also to create shapes that happen really fast, you know, just um, came out really fast and that even something that was done quickly could have a great visual potency where it there was, you could still find a great deal of depth in the image, you know, that you could spend time contemplating it. The first ones I did were the Books of Breath. I did three volumes of those. In the Book of Breath, I would lay down some oil paint and then I would just blow on it. I was thinking of the idea of um, God breathed and created the universe or whatever it is, but it came from breath, you know, and um, uh, so the idea that the artist can actually create a painting with breath. Um, and the, the mark, you know, the paintings are typically just marks of what the artists have done. If you're holding a brush, you've got this, this distance between you and the canvas. But breath, it's just like, uh, it's, it's literally the air that came out of your mouth and it created the shape. Um, so I like the, the idea. I'm attracted to work when I see the hand of the artist, in this case, the breath of the artist, but uh, where I can really feel like, wow, that I almost feel like that artist was right there. And I'm so connected with that artist making this gesture or mark, you know. Um, the other part of it was this, you know, breath is, is a creative tool you know there's there are cave paintings that they say were done with the the artists literally put the pigments in their mouth and spit them out onto the the ceilings I, I remember seeing somebody actually do this so i like this idea that it also has a tradition that goes back to the, the very earliest paintings you know we were talking one day and he was telling about this concept he had for illuminated manuscripts and we were thinking about different ways to do that. And he, had, he wanted to do this um, on, these, on these kind of mylar sheets. Roy um, said, you know, I want, I want this somehow to um, mount so that um, it's in the book and then um, it would just swing out of the way and then we would you turn the page and then put another page here so you could just view the pages one at a time. He found these panels. And I, I really didn't do much here. Uh, he came up with the, the materials, the binders were already made. All, all I did was try to uh, integrate the panel on a hinge in a way that would be seamless with, uh, with, with the existing uh, design. I love that I have this life that's about painting and exploring painting and creating things that have come from me, you know, that I think them and they, they're there and I have the experience of letting them flow out and taking those things into the world and, and then having people respond to them, you know, and it, having, seeing that it actually creates connection for me and relationships for me and then people who buy them and give me money which allows me to support myself to keep doing it and I really feel blessed, you know, I feel 
like I've won the lottery and I've got this great situation, you know.